Yeah, I, I don't know much about this game. It seems very like vhs -y sort of retro style, but it mentioned something about space and I, I just had to, I just had to play it. Hopefully it's not scary, haha. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if it is. Mm, Cause it, it was on, it was on new and trending on Steam. So I didn't actually look at the genre of the game, but it seems to be very like, it might have horror aspects. I can't, I can't honestly remember. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, I've already got an achievement. Zero days before the crash. An orbital body has been detected 21 AU ahead of the vessel. An asteroid. Please make it... Please make a manual correction 1.4 degrees leftward to avoid impact with unknown mass. Oh! Still right or left? Wait, but it said left, right? Extreme on it. I mean, I could. My only option was to turn right. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the right option, but it is what it is, I guess. Direct collision course with orbital body 1.9 AU away. Engaging autopilot to recorrect vessel. Advise crew to take emergency positions. 4,000 credits docked from crew pay package for failure to of navigation. Navigational stuff. It's locked. Oh, this is very cool. There's nothing else to be done. Uh, uh, I can't let anyone in. Utility. Ooh. Take emergency key. Is that, is that what I need? It's locked. Tab. Captain only emergency cockpit. Console override key. Use emergency key. Disengage up. Am I screwing over everyone? Oh. Crash imminent. Oh gosh. Can't help but feel like I just screwed over everyone on the ship, but okay. Why would why are we trying to willingly get hit by the asteroid though? I'm so confused. Lend a hand. That's what Pele says. Pele says, lend a hand. Oh, Pele says, don't be daft. Pele says, rise and shine. Giddy up galaxy, don't be daft. Oh, this is very freaky. I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna get hit by the asteroid, right? That's probably gonna be what happens here. I can't open that one. Oh, do I have to close it behind me? No, I just can't open it. Okay. Maybe I can get in the vent. Can I lock it? I don't think I can lock it either. Hello? Pele? Oh, now I can open it. I'm so confused. Why is Pele haunting me? Pele is a bit freaker. I'm not going to lie. Pele is just a bit freaky, isn't it? Okay, that asteroid is about to hit us like any second now, right? That asteroid is definitely going to hit us any second now. Can I undo the lock? Oh, two months after the crash. Anyone else would do the same thing. We ain't touching the damn cargo. The hold is locked down for a reason. The only thing worse than dying slowly is not getting paid. But it could be something useful, I think. Could be what? Hopes and dreams and marzipan? Marzipan? Ha. You don't have to. If it helps us to survive, it's worth it. Man, Pony Express bosses really aren't chill at all, huh? Come on, a quick look won't hurt. How exactly is this group therapy committee planning on getting in there? All right, here, boss. You're looking at the meanest swing of the regional junior baseball team. Straight up nearly corked a kid once. I can take the utility accent. You were goddamn born fully corked. <laughs> That's enough, Swansea. There has to be an in-case-of-emergency way inside. If I remember correctly, from the safety protocols, the doors should have an alternate access code, but it can only be uncovered using a cold scanner device, and only the captain has access to the scanner. Of course, go ahead and ask him all about it then. Maybe he'll sing you the blues too. We don't need him. If we find the scanner, get the code, and open the hold. 
For better or worse, I'm captain now. I am the captain now. I am the captain. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Right on. So did we get hit by the asteroid? I'm so confused. Would, would, would that not mean we, we got a bit screwed over? Does that not mean we're just dead? You know, I, I, I figured if you're in a space shuttle and you got hit by an asteroid, it'd kind of be game over. That's a cool looking coffee machine, I'll tell you that. Also, what does Pele have to do with anything? Oh, oh, we'd be dead without this thing. Never thought I'd be thankful, thankful of the Pony Express. Pele is creeper. <laughs> Right, so what I'm understanding is that we did get hit with the asteroid, but we managed to save ourselves somehow. Hello. He doesn't want to keep still anymore. What about the painkillers? He... It just hurts him so much. I can't stand that noise. You did make it through nursing school, right? Pony Express sure does know how to cut corners, if nothing else. Um, I was thinking. We never really went back into the cockpit after we dragged him out. It almost entirely foamed up. Kind of a miracle Curly didn't end up fossilized, but it could be still unstable. I just think, well, it's the only place the cold scanner could be still be. Otherwise, we're shit out of luck. I'll take a look. I know you'll figure it out, Jimmy. You're so capable. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right I am. Oh, also, well, um, I was hoping you could help with the captain. Curly? Right, sorry, with, with Curly's medication. People have to be worth their titles. Don't you think, Nurse Anya? Uh, yeah, I f forget I asked. I'll take care of it. Oh, he does not look so good. Hey, buddy. You don't look so good. Oh. Oh, you really don't look so good. Okay, well, you know, medication... They're all we have left. 10 milligrams of oxycodone. Oxycodon. I, I don't know. <laughs> Release capsules, the good stuff. His mouth is closed. Open it, open up, buddy. Open up. Hold still, yeah? I don't like this any more than you do. You know what they say. Pain is how we know we're still living. <sighs> he looks like he's in a bit more than just pain. I can't bear to listen. Excuse me, sorry? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you you rest, buddy, you rest. So did the shuttle get saved from the foam? Because I don't understand how... I don't understand how the shuttle could have possibly survived an asteroid. Thank you for helping with Curly. Did you find the code scanner? I hope it's still there. The cockpit is covered in foam. So we have to go to the cockpit. I think Curly might have been going insane. I'm not going to lie. Because I'm going, going to suspect that we were playing as the captain in the intro. And, you know, we, we, we were seeing Pele. And I think he was just sort of going a bit insane. Oh, it uh, loops around. Here we go. Oh. Hate code scanner. 4517. 4517. Did my game crash? Oh, no. It just has a very weird, like, freezing moment. This game is super unique in that, uh, it, in, like, its art style and whatnot. It doesn't follow, like, traditional, like, games, I feel like. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I'm sorry. Couldn't sleep again. Oh, I'm playing as. We're, we're playing as Curly here, but I passed the psych evaluation. Well, you gave the same answers as last time. I do wish you'd open up a little more, Captain. These evaluations aren't just about you. As long as I'm fit to fly in your eyes, Anya. <laughs> oh, stop it. Guess that means I am I only have one more evaluation left to do. Jimmy? He acts as if I do these things for fun. Then I have to make a rapport with things like, I have found myself sexually excited at the sight of cartoon horses, okay? <laughs> well, I could take it off your hands. Really? 
I've known him a long time. He won't try any bullshit with me. I suppose you are the captain. I am the captain. I am the captain now. <laughs> Thank you. What a relief. Oh, before I forget, Swansea asked me to give you this. They can't expect me to perform miracles. Not sure what it means, but sounds like fun. Good luck, Captain. Talk to Jimmy and Swansea. Jimmy! Swansea! We're going to have a little chit-chat. Just the two of us. Or the three of us, technically. Jimmy and Swansea. Alright, I'm guessing this takes place before the crash. It, it did tell me, but I, I, I already forgot. But I'm going to assume it's taking place before the, before the crash because there's no foam. So we just have to find Jimmy and Swan Swansea. Hello, big boy. This is Jimmy. And Pony Express said they don't provide onboard entertainment. Feels like there's always something broken in that room. Tulpa's starting to show her age. Past inspection, right? Shouldn't be an issue. Hmm. Plus they added uh, Daisuke last minute. Didn't account that there'd be five of us now. Five crewmates. Remember that chat. Five crewmates. I really should have made a bigger stink about that. And this is... This is the... This is the... The foam. Well, I can see the issue. The kid was brought on just to make me suffer. In turn, my ass. Daisuke. I was just trying to fix the vent. Imposter. How did that trigger the emergency foam? I get it now. So when the asteroid hit the space shuttle, we have emergency foam to save the space shuttle. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I don't understand how foam saves an entire spaceship from an asteroid, but here we are. How did that trigger the emergency foam? Because you're talented in all the wrong ways. I would have dealt with this, but only you can unlock the axe case. Every goddamn uh, thing has to go through you. Okay, so Swansea doesn't like me very much. I'll handle it. Hang in there, Daisuke. Okay, so we need the axe. The axe of peace, which also just happens to have a code. So we need we need the... Oh, I got, I got the thing. I got the thing. Aha, a code scanner. Two... Hold on. 2609. 2609. Let's go! Wait, so if the foam has any issues at all, we have to use an axe to break it? That seems very, like, annoying to deal with. I think I got it. Yeah! <laughs> Hang in there. Okay. Use axe. I'm going to break you out, Daisuke. And I'm going to try and not hit, like, one of your limbs. That would be very awkward. Did we break him free? Yes! Oof. Strong stuff, huh? Get it through your goddamn skull. That vent is strictly off limits. Fully fucking collapsed inside. You're looking to get impaled, electrocuted, and cooked? Yeah, but like, you can't fit in there to fix it, right? So I can total totally handle it. Captain, give me the axe. Swansea, this could have been damaged. The, oh, this could have damaged the pods. You can't let something like this happen again. You should try using different voices. I don't know what voices I would give it. Swansea is like just angry. So he's like. <laughs> he's like very like. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I got it. Loud and clear. <laughs> Although I don't know if I can do that voice for the entire dialogue. <laughs> Keep the axe until you've cleaned this up all up. Yeah. I do wish there was voice acting. Because then I wouldn't need to voice the characters. Okay. Right. Are we done here? It's okay to be big boss. <laughs> Daisuke's like very laid back. He's very like chill. You know. My Grams was super huge. <laughs> and he lived until like 60, man. Jimmy, hello? Hmm. I can take it. Anya diagnosed you with being sane then. Just off center. But it's... Oh, no. Wrong voice. <laughs> Just off center. But it was what keeps me on my toes. I said I'd do, do yours. 
I want to hear all about those cartoon horses. Is that something you were born with or a recent develop? All right, all right, shut up. Let's go to the cockpit. Okay, so Jimmy might be insane. Take note of that chat. Jimmy might be insane. Because why is he seeing cartoon horses? I mean, granted, the captain in the beginning was seeing Pele, but why is Jimmy seeing cartoon horses? That seems more troubling. So Jimmy might just be a bit insane. And that's why Anya, the nurse, has asked us to do the evaluation. He did ask, he did ask us to go to the cockpit, right? Oh, where am I? Do I just... What? Huh? I thought I was on a spaceship. Why am I like in a red sea? Oh, oh, this is like deep space, huh? Okay, that is very alarming. Chat, if you weren't afraid of space, now you can be. <laughs> Jesus, that is terrifying. Could you imagine in j just being in like deep dark space and being on a planet like this? I'm assuming I'm on a planet. <sighs> if you weren't afraid of space, this game will do it to you. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with this. Oh, I don't mess with this. I'm going to start seeing hallucinations and everything, aren't I? Oh, no, I don't mess with this. Was that like a was that like a star that like impacted? Like a sun? And now I'm in the void. Jimmy! I just had a bit of a hallucination there. Don't worry about that. Let's have a little bit of a chit chat, shall we? You can't just make something up for this. It's not like these evaluations ever go anywhere when we get back. We'll power through it. Come on, Jimmy, we'll power through it. Have you been able to complete your mandated tasks as co-pilot efficiently and to your fullest capability or capacity even? Uh, let's see. I'll just put good for that one. That's all of them. Done and done. How are things otherwise? Off the record. I like it. We're in control here. Didn't think you'd ever take to being a writer pilot? A freighter pilot, as well as you have. What, with you struggled back on Earth? Oh, with what? Ah, whatever. Dialogue. English is hard, guys. Sure. All I ever hear is how great of, the, of a leader you are. Honestly, it's kind of annoying. So what is it? Hmm? How come it always seems like you're standing on the edge of a bridge with your feet in cement? Lately, I've just been thinking, is this enough? Should I just stay here because I've been successful at it? A good long haul freighter captain? And that's bad. That's what I'm saying, it's not. But it's terrifying. I think, am I figured out? Is this all I'll ever be? Or do I take risks and try something new? Even if I'm bad at it. Hmm. I guess I get it. You've reached the highest rung of the ladder. Or of this ladder. So now you're thinking you might be on the wrong ladder altogether. Still a long way down from the top no matter how you look at it. While well, I'm still climbing and climbing. Something like that. But hey, hey, hey. You know I believe in you. Come on, Jimmy. Here on Earth. Doesn't matter. Huh. You should write that on a psych evaluation. Message incoming! Oh no. Oh, oh no. The big guys themselves. Guess that's my cue. I'll see you later. Message! Message! Let's sit in our very important... Oh no, 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 no. Uh, wh 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 where's the message? Message. <clears throat> Message. 
News from Corpor. Oh. Uh, 